You're watching KKTV 11 News. It is time for Wild Wednesday, and we are joined once again by Joey Livingston with Colorado Parks and Wildlife. He's our expert, and welcome to the new building, Joey. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> it's so weird having you up here, but it's always great to have you. You're awesome at what you do, and uh, you were on vacation for two weeks. Glad to have you back. Um, but the first topic is a big one statewide. Of course, we've got two recent what we believe are wolf attacks on livestock here in Colorado. One, uh, a calf did pass away. The second one, um, still under investigation. But talk about that process. Correct me if I'm wrong. This was expected with the wolf reintroduction plan, is that right? You know, we did anticipate this happening. I mean, these wolves are predators, um, and so, you know, it was anticipated that we would have depredations. We do have depredations from mountain lions and bears as well, so it is something that CPW has dealt with for many years. Now, it, it, within the planning process, we did, you know, take into, you know, anticipating the wolf um, depredations into account, so we have um, pretty thorough uh, compensation programs uh, for ranchers that uh, experience depredations. We also have a lot of uh, work going towards um, uh, non-lethal conflict minimization in those areas that do have wolves. Uh, currently working with the Colorado Department of Agriculture to get range riders out in some of these areas uh, to you know have some feet on the ground to try to scare these wolves away if they're coming around. Was the range riders program, was that part of the original plan or did that come about um, recently? Um, really, it was kind of recently, you know, we did anticipate the need for some of that stuff within the plan, uh, but the plan really kind of outlined some of these potential programs to put into place. And so now we're taking that action to, to um, work with Colorado Department of Ag Agriculture to actually get that going. All right. All right, Joey, the second thing we want to talk about, there's a new attraction at the Cheyenne Mountain State Park, two new things. They're called terrain hoppers. Tell us about these. Yeah, so this is a, a great program that we have. You know, accessibility at our state parks is a huge part of what CPW does. We want everyone to be, come, be able to come out and enjoy our parks. At some other parks, we have uh, what are called track chairs. Um, they're a little bit different than what we have here, which are terrain hoppers. These ones are on four wheels. Uh, they can go on gravel dirt and even some rocky um, inclines of up to 35 degrees. So just gives, uh, you know, additional access to to our trails. Um, so this was a, a great, you know, big thank you to the organization Friends of Cheyenne Mountain State Park to help purchase these vehicles. They were $30,000 each. So took a big investment from them to actually get these out there. And uh, it does, you can make reservations for these um, terrain hoppers. Uh, they require an online reservation uh, because we do have to have a volunteer go out with you when you're on these trails and uh, on a note about volunteers if you're interested in volunteering and helping going out on some taking folks out on these guided hikes contact the state park and you can learn how to do that nice I'm gonna get that volunteer information up a little later today on our website last topic I think that this project is huge for Lake Pueblo a pedestrian bridge that essentially now connects Pueblo West to Pueblo through that lake area just talk about this project and how it came to fruition yeah, so this is a great project. Um, you know, accessibility at the park is important. I think people were able to walk and access along the road, uh, but this uh, pedestrian path will make it a lot safer for folks um, going through that area on bicycles or hiking or walking. It's about to get busy down there. It <laughs> is. Joey, thanks so much for being here with us. Always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. A reminder, the volunteers, I love that. I'm going to have those details up on our website later today. KKTV.com. Just click the Find It tab. We'll be right